Good for him. All right, turning to the forecast, a gray, dreary, wet night really all across the region. Things dried out a bit in some places, many making their way out to Dilworth Park. Sounds like we might have some sunshine to look forward to. Andrew is back with another look at your next weather forecast. I did peak at that seven day. So I was going to say, well, <laughs> if you have some patience, mm -hmm. we have to wait a few days, but we will, as I'll say this, have what comes in from Helene, those bands not giving us anything like they saw down in the Carolinas, Virginia, of course, Florida, the southeast. We are still just getting nuisance rain, nuisance shower. So as bad as we think this weather is, it you know could be a lot worse. So that's the good news. The bad news is that yes, there is some sunshine. Liz peaked at the seven day. You'll have a chance to see it here in about two minutes. But we may have to wait to the middle of the upcoming week to actually get it because what we saw today across the area is likely what we're going to see tomorrow, likely what we're going to see Monday. We might even add a couple more showers in the forecast for Tuesday. Clouds and radar right now. We're looking at just areas along the main line and northeast of our northwest, I should say, of the city of Philadelphia. There's Radnor over toward uh, Wayne, the Chanticleer area. If you've ever been up there, it's beautiful. Maybe not so beautiful tonight, but we're continuing to see just a couple scattered sprinkles there. We also have some showers and a few downpours near uh, Ivsham and over toward the Waterford area down 30. This is very, very light at this point, but there could be a quick little burst of some moderate rain. Of course, everybody's also experiencing the fog tonight. Fog reducing visibilities down to about a half mile in a couple of spots. Make sure you give yourself a little extra time if you have to travel overnight. Can't even see the tops of some of the buildings right now in Center City. That's what it looks like out there. For the record today, this is where we got to 73 degrees. The average high is about 74, record 91. We are not going to be anywhere near that for the foreseeable future. Let's round out the weekend, talk about what we're looking at. Temperatures overnight, 50s to the north, 60s across the city and the shore. Tomorrow, 60s. Some of us may not even get about five or six degrees warmer than our overnight low. A few 70s possible at the shore. Cloudy, foggy, misty, drizzly and showery. That's what the skies are going to be like the next few days and the winds light from the east southeast at around five to ten. How much additional rain do we get throughout your Sunday and even into your Monday? Up to about a half an inch in a couple of spots. I was trying to spit out maybe a couple of downpours in south areas of Jersey that could give us maybe three quarters of an inch. But again, not even the amount of rain that we need to get out of this moderate drought in areas like Burlington County and Atlantic County. You can see that it's mostly just showery in the morning. A few areas of some showers in the afternoon. High temperatures again around 69 in the city. A few 70s possible across the Jersey Shore. You might even get a little peak of sunshine in one or two spots across southern Jersey, but that's it. Most of us will continue with the light rain chances through Tuesday. By Wednesday, a few showers come to an end. It does look like we'll have some sunshine by Wednesday afternoon. Here is your seven day forecast Monday 70 68 on Tuesday. That'll be cool and rainy. Then we get into Wednesday. We're back into the 70s sunshine returns and right now it looks like the second half of the week and the beginning of next weekend look very, very nice. Liz.